My name is Anthony Toncho Nunez, and today we're talking about Van Helsing, Season 4, Episode 1. Let's talk about it! Wow, can you believe it? We're already in Season 4 of Van Helsing. When we started this journey, we didn't know we would get to Season 4, but Season 4 is here. And instead of giving us a whole bunch of answers to what happened in the end of season three, we got questions, a whole bunch of questions. But don't worry, I wrote them down. So let's go through some questions that we were left with after watching the first episode of Van Helsing season four. My first question is, where is Axel? Is Axel really done with Vanessa? Was Scarlet's death too much and he broke up with Vanessa and he also broke up with his duty to protect Vanessa which he's been carrying since the first episode of Van Helsing. Did Kaylee, the ultimate survivor of Van Helsing, did she not make it out of Denver? Was her fate the same of the mayor? <laughs> the mayor of Denver did not have a good fate. He became a snack for a scab. Did Kaylee become a snack too or will she continue to be a survivor who cannot be stopped? There's something about that little girl so my money's on her. We were left with a really big question about Lily Van Helsing. Why they bring back Lily Van Helsing just to kill her? Why? And she was so confused with Vanessa healing. I was confused with her resurrection. How did Lily Van Helsing resurrect? What was that she was talking about? She gave us a little bit of hint. She said that she was in limbo, somewhere between dead and alive. But that doesn't explain how it happened. Was it some type of like incantation or a spell? None of that was revealed. We just got questions. And her head was smashed by that psychic vampire. So how is it that she survived all this long? And after she survived, why was she just taken away from Vanessa so fast? And she was killed by a regular ass vampire, not even a daywalker. And they spent so much time in season three proving to us what a badass Lady Van Helsing was. She was a very capable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. She was definitely a great um, vampire hunter. So the fact that she was killed so easily makes me wonder like, what the hell was the reason for bringing her back in the first place, right? Questions. How is Jolene and Phil faring in Loveland? We didn't see any of them in this episode. Hell, the doc didn't even blink once. She didn't even mention Jolene in this episode. Did she forget about Jolene? I didn't forget. So what's happening with Flesh and Jolene? That's a big question I have. Are we going to cut to them and Axel? And hopefully Kaylee. Hopefully Kaylee survived, right? We need answers to these questions, not more questions. Now let's talk about Sam, guys. Sam became the super horn vampire. We finally got the fight that we wanted from season three, but it wasn't really the fight we wanted because at one point it seemed like Vanessa was super powered. Ever since Vanessa went super red eye Vanessa, red eye Vanessa was just kicking butt with both hands, right? So I thought that Sam was in for some trouble. But apparently, no, Sam is more powerful than Vanessa. Sam's power level right now is ridiculous. And did you see the bound chick at bound bound that's going on with Sam and the Oracle? Is that what the Oracle was after all along? Did she want a boy toy? And is the Oracle really faithful to the Dark One? Or is she trying to supplant the Dark One and put Sam in his place and she wants to rule beside him? Which makes it kind of weird, right? Because... Why did she contact Ivory and tell her about the, the rising of the mother if she wants to supplant the Dark One with Sam? Wouldn't that make her the mother then if she takes over the Dark One? So I don't know why she contacted Ivory and why would she tell uh, Sam that he could be the Dark One? So whatever the plans of the Oracle, I don't trust them. And, and that and that kiss bite at the end, ooh, it gave me the willies. So I'm keeping my eye on those two because I'm hoping that some answers follow, right? And speaking of fight, y'all did we finally get the fight we wanted with julius and, and scab not really right we thought julius was pretty bad and at the end of the episode we saw julius still has it when he took down all those guards but one thing for sure ever since scab became a sister he's a badass because he took down julius with no problem if it wasn't for the fact that he was too busy wwe celebrating he would have finished julius off but julius had the grenade and now it's all over right his intestines are all over the place and made me wonder if scab can heal literally his gut was out right his intestines were all over if he can heal from that how come his friend can't heal from the little snip that happened when he joined the sisters right so couldn't, get, couldn't he, he got his friend back as well if his regeneration powers are that strong and you saw he ate the mayor of denver so the mayor of denver should have left he never got any reinforcements it's done for him he's a done character and i think Dun denver is done as a city obviously because we're not going to see Dun denver because basically they nuked it they were like we're done with it we're moving on to the next place 
And, and the only confirmation we really got was that Denver and the Mountain people were both related, that Black Tech is behind both the Mountain and Denver, and both sites are now done. So I'm assuming that wherever Black Tech leads is going to be where the story leads as well. And we saw that there's a new character coming, and she is a badass, right? She She's a great hand-to-hand -hand combatant, and something tells me that her and Vanessa have a, have a date in the future. So there you have it, just questions in this episode, right? Just more Van Helsing questions, not that many answers. I, for one, am excited that Van Helsing is back. I'm excited because I really don't think there's a vampire show that's serving us right now on TV. Not one that I like, honestly. So Van Helsing is back. Do you know any of the answers to any of these questions that we were given in episode one? Please put them in the comments. And no spoilers, because maybe people don't want to spoil like you and me. So, so be careful with the spoilers. As always, guys, this is the Tone Show. Hit me with a like. Hit me with a comment. Tone Show. Ah. Ooh. I got mad questions. Oh, my God.